Hello, and welcome back to Code in 5 Minutes with Zim. I'm Dr. Abstract, and in this Code in 5 Minutes, we're going to take a look at how to make a paddle for a Pong game that moves as you, as you wave your hand. And we're going to code that in 5 minutes. And maybe we can make the whole Pong game in the next 5 minutes. Who knows? <laughs> okay, so let's go to the Zim site at zimjs.com. And we're going to go to the code section here and hit copy. That's our template. And we'll close this down, Badoop. or reduce it anyway. We'll come back in and we'll paste in there. We'll call this one Zim Cam Pong. Wow, okay. We'll also bring in the camera, underscore cam, and we'll make it start on a darker background. Get rid of the stuff that was there. And we're ready to go. So let's have a look at what this looks like in a browser. If I open this up in a browser, there is our um, space here. So what we're going to make is a little track that goes down the left with a paddle in it. And then when we wave our hand along this area, it will move the paddle up and down. Uh, I don't know if we'll have time, but it's easy enough to just copy it over to another paddle here. So we'll try and do this part in five minutes. And then maybe in a uh, future code in five minutes, we can make a ball bounce back and forth between this. Perhaps in another future code in five minutes, maybe we can make a, a score that keeps track and, and that kind of stuff. So we'll build a little app, maybe in just a bit more than five minutes, but this part's going to take five minutes. <laughs> so let's, let's get that timer going, shall we? Bum, bum, bum. Timer, activate. Uh, start the timer. Okay. There we go. Is she going? I think so. Okay, so what we're going to do is let's make that track. So const track left is equal to a new rectangle. And we'll call that 100 wide and stage height high and dot pose 0, 0. Um, by default, that will be on the left, and but that's fine. We'll throw that in there just to make it clear. Oh, we won't copy it yet to a track right. Let's make all the left-hand stuff. So then we can say const paddle left is equal to a new another new rectangle. Uh, and how big should we make the paddle? About 30 wide, I don't know, 200 high, something like that. We'll make it pink. Pick a pink paddle. And we will dot center reg that. That'll be important because we want the center of it to go to where our motion is. Um, on the track left, but then we're going to add it back to the stage, dot add to stage. Oh, no, dot add two, I mean, and then stage in here. That's a little trick. We center it on there, add it back to the stage, and then it takes the stage coordinates, which would be fine for the left-hand paddle. For the right-hand paddle, it might uh, create some problem. So we should ask for a camera now. So this is a new cam ask. It's a little widget that will pop up something. And when uh, we show it, dot show, like a pop-up window, it's going to call this arrow function when we return a reply. So that reply will be true if it's, um, and we'll collect it inside of yes, it will be true if we allow the camera. So if yes, then we do all of this stuff, as in we can make a, um, a cam motion. So const cam motion. Oops, that's a capital C. Const cam motion. And we'll pass to the cam motion oh, our track, track L. So that means we better take this stuff and stick it uh, right in here. So if yes, uh, or we could have put it in the yes, as a matter of fact, we could do that too. So we don't show anything if they haven't said it, or we could say else provide an error message. So there's a const track. Here's our cam motion, and we're going to dot center that on the stage, or dot add to would actually work as well. And then we'll say, oh, we should const, that's not quite right, is it? Cam um, left is equal to that. And so then we say cam left dot on. Uh, ready. So when the camera is ready, we'll call this arrow function. The ready is when the person accepts the camera in the browser. So the cam ask is Zim asking if they want to use it, and then it goes off to the browser. Reason for that two-step thing is that Apple doesn't think you've interacted with the screen yet, 
even though you've accepted the camera and that can not play the video of the camera. So anyway, uh, blah, 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 blah. So when we're ready, we will um, ask for a data event. So cam left dot on data, call this arrow function. And in there, we will set the paddle uh, left dot y equal to the cam left dot motion y. Okay, there we go. And let's pause that. Pause. So I think we're done. We made a paddle that moves to the motion of the camera. Let's have a look, shall we? So we grab the browser here and refresh. Yes or no. So this is the cam ask. And if we say yes and allow, there's the paddle. Oh, I don't see the cam though. So what happened to the cam? When we're ready, uh, do we add it? Cam emotion track L that should have centered it to the track on data. Oh, maybe we got an error. That might happen. F11. Oh, no, F12. Yeah, there's a little bit. Okay. Uh, constructor this yeah, cam motion, cam ask, close call. What? Uh, show. Yes. There's no constructor. Something's not a constructor. I, mean, I must have missed a new somewhere. Ah, new. It was when we, uh, my apologies. Oopsies. Oopsies. So um, remember when I went uh, const cam motion and all that stuff. And then I went, oh, okay, I need a variable name there. I forgot the new. So const cam left is equal to a new cam motion, of course. And then we're going to center it. So we refresh here. Yes, allow. Oh, there's the camera. And look at that. We have it moving to our hand. Oh my goodness. So if I'm down here, there it is. And I go up here, it's up there. We have a paddle. All right. Woohoo. Okay, well, maybe what we can do, since we've got uh, three minutes and 33 seconds, we've got a few minutes left aside from that little debug. Why don't we set it up? I'll start this again, resume, and we'll uh, basically just copy some of this anyway. I think we can copy those and paste them here. We'll make a track right and a paddle right and a rectangle with the stage height. That's all good, but we'll position this one on the right side. That's a new rectangle. We'll make this one blue instead of pink and we'll center it on the right track and add to the stage back again. We'll make a cam right equal to a new cam motion. This is a little bit tricky here in that our object will be the track right this time, but the cam that we're going to use is the same cam that belongs to this cam. So cam L dot cam. So that's using the same cam. Otherwise it would ask for the cam twice. So there we go. And when the left-hand side's ready, the right-hand side will probably be ready too. Well, uh, maybe no guarantees. We may as well copy this whole thing. And uh, probably it's gonna be close enough. When that's ready, we get the data and then we make it paddle right Y is equal to cam motion right Y. And let's pause at 4.45. Let's see if we now have two of these um, moving. So we open in browser. Maybe not quite. Did I do something wrong? Paddle R, cam R. I'm seeing uh, quite a white screen here. Probably an error. I need a bracket on line 28. So a bracket on line 28. Oh, squiggly bracket. Okay. And refresh again. Accept the cam, yes. Close that, allow. And there's me. And now here's two sides. So check that out. No motion when I'm here. You see I'm in the middle. I don't know if you can see me. And then when I put fingers or anything on the right-hand side, uh, there they are. I can't see the camera over the right-hand side. So a slight, uh, let's see. We, the camera gets added here but there's the um, there's the second track. So maybe what we can do is just move these tracks into here like that. We'll do the, the tracks and then the cams and that will 
keep that aligned. My apologies for a little a little fiddle that was not included in the time. But anyway, there's there we go. Now we can see our, our camera out. By the way, we can see more of the camera if we want. Right now it's at defaulting to a point one. So the when we create the cam motion on track uh, left, the next parameter is how much do we want to see that? So if we go 0.5 like that and refresh here, we'll see uh, Dr. Abstract a little bit. Um, oh, <laughs> I thought we would have seen Dr. Abstract more, but that still looks like it's 0.1, doesn't it? Now let's take a quick jaunt to the docs. So back on Zim here, you can go to the docs, type in cam like so. And um, here's the cam motion. There's the preview. And I thought, oh, I think I know what's going on. The second, the second cam that is operating here is turning the, by default, it's 0.1. On, even though that's the second parameter there, we would want to say uh, preview right here. This is the, the second cam motion is using the cam and setting the cam back to a default of 0.1. So we better set the preview to a 0.5 right here on the second uh, cam motion that gets created. Most of the time we don't have two cam motions. This just happens to be <laughs> one of those times. So we allow, and, ah, and there's a smiley Dr. Abstract. Um, and as you can see, Dr. Abstract is indeed controlling these things with a bit of damping. You can increase the performance of that. There's settings to make it happen faster, but when it happens faster, then it becomes more jittery. Right now it's sort of smooth and it's probably okay for a game of Pong, I think. Um, yeah, <laughs> what do you think? And there we are again, when I'm in between, it's only when I move in the sides there that there, that motion happens. Um, which means you could have two people playing, one person on this side of the screen and one person sitting over here and you could wave your hands to play Pong. So that is, and we did that in how long? What did that take? 445, not bad, that's pretty amazing. And this has been a code in five minutes. And I'm uh, Dr. Abstract. Come back for more and certainly look at the previous code in five minutes that we've done. Uh, come to Zim, zimjs.com slash slack or zimjs.com slash discord. We'd love to see you. Ciao.